What's up? What's up? What's up, Aries? This is your message. Oh, the high priestess. Okay, you tapping into your energies. You learning new things about who you really are spiritually. Gaining insights from a higher power, a higher force beckons you to listen. We got you giving information to other people. What you feel, what you hear, what you see from the other side or above. You're passing this information on. And it's going to help families. It's going to help individuals and their families. We have here the Emperor Aries. Working harder at your craft, at your gift. It's like you're training. You're in training. We got the love. You're in training. You're in spiritual training, Aries. Judgment. Your work. That the work that you're doing that you're learning for your spiritual shop <laughs> or if you're doing tarot readings for other people personal readings maybe you're not ready to do your own YouTube channel yet you're just learning but this is an opportunity for you to really really learn your craft so you can sell tarot readings for other people to other people but you're working at this right now you're learning new things about who you are you're learning new things about your true self your gift this was handed to you from a family member. You have a family member who's probably on the other side, or they could be still living, who, who passed this gift on to you. But you're wondering, will people judge me if I use this gift? Will people judge me? We have the judgment card, and we have the three of pentacles. It's like you're learning from other tarot readers. You're learning from what you're learning uh, from online. I'm doing a lot of research. But you're wondering if people if, there, if people in your family or other places will judge you for what you do. And it worries you. Every time you want to put yourself out there, you change your mind. And it bothers you. It keeps you up at night because maybe you're feeling guilty for even wanting to, to experience. You experience certain things, but then you, it bothers you. And you get, you get woke up in the middle of the night with, 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 with messages coming from the other side. But we have you constantly worrying about this. But you're you're always getting ideas. You're always getting these epiphanies, these these messages that that coming that comes toward you. You feel it. You know that there's something there, and it's it's within you already. You have the gift of the the magician. You have it already in you to give to others. The downloads that you're getting, the the, the, the the message that you hear, you feel, you see, all of this stuff is always has always been with you. So at some point, you just try to ignore it and, and say, well, no, that's not what I want to do. But you're constantly getting fed this information. But no, that's not what I want to do. But you're constantly getting fed this information and you constantly say, well, no, thank you. But this is your calling. This is your gift. So you you say, well, no, I don't want to deal with this. This is something that I don't I don't want to do. And you made this out to be something that it's not, which is it's a burden. It's not a burden, it's a gift. And every time you every time you you think that this is a burden, you get the opportunity to help somebody out again. It keeps coming, but the more you try to get rid of it, the more it comes back to you. It's like a bo the boomerang effect. The more and more you try to dismantle your gift and put that gift to the side, it comes right back at you full force every time. We got you being the king of wands. You've done it before or you feel regretful for having all of this, these gifts that you have coming to you that's being fed to you. You're being led to do something with your gift, but, but you're afraid of what people may say or what people may do in your family and, and out in public or however it is you choose to use your gift. But you have this gift for a reason. Stop stop sitting on your gift. You got the king of wands here that's, that's saying, well, I know that there's something that I want to do, but it may make people stand offish and you hold on to it. You don't want to use it, but it's there for you to use. You're holding on to this secret that you have this spiritual gift, this spiritual calling that you're ignoring, but it's there for a reason. 
Give me some final messages for Aries, please. What is the outcome? Will Aries ever use their spiritual gift? Will Aries ever use their spiritual gift, please, Spirit? Will Aries ever use their spiritual gift? We got the judgment. You're afraid. Of, you're afraid to be judged, and you think so much about what people may think about what you're doing. We got the Eight of Cups. What are you leaving behind, Aries? Okay, we got the Three of Wands. You're watching this ship. It's like you're headed toward. You're on the. You're going to at some point get on the other side of this distressful situ is of this stressful situation and at some point you will start reading for people you will start you will start using your gift but you got to practice more you got to really learn more of the craft at some point you're going to leave behind judging yourself so negatively toward this gift and you're going to stop hiding your your gift under a bushel and then you're going to look back and say wow i should have did this a long time ago you're going to offer more and more yourself to other people and you're going to at the same time learn more about home in on your beautiful craft all right